What's up there SEO pros, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how and why to prune pages from your website to improve the overall value of your website. Now, what I'm gonna use for this is Search Console. If you don't have Search Console, I recommend you set it up. And if you wanna watch how to uh, set up Search Console, pretty easy to find out. Just sign into your Search Console like this. If, with your Google account, if you don't have it, it'll let you sign up. And then you're just gonna add a little snippet of code to your website. Just follow the instructions there. Once you do that, you're gonna sign in and hopefully you're gonna have some historical data here. What I like to do is I like to sort by the last 90 days. Uh, if you're gonna be using the new search console, you can search by even longer, which sometimes is helpful. Let me just go ahead and show you uh, what we're gonna be doing today though. We're gonna just be looking at the last 90 days. Now, what you're gonna do is just sort by the last three months like that and you're gonna scroll down and go to your pages. Now, please disregard this drop in traffic. This actually has to do with a previous tutorial I just did about why this happened and it had to do with redirects not being implemented properly, but we're actually in the process of implementing that. And while I'm gonna be implementing those redirects, I'm also gonna be pruning some pages. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna scroll through these pages and we're gonna look for any pages that may not be valuable to us. And the reason why I say they're not gonna be valuable to us is because they're not really getting any interactions. So if I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, what I'm gonna end up seeing is a lot of pages with very little clicks and very little impressions. Now, if I scroll up to the top here and I look at the average position as well, I'm gonna be able to see uh, where these posts are ranking on average. So if I see that over here, let's scroll down to, uh, let's say, you know, this blog post on average, it's ranking position 60, six clicks. So what I'm gonna wanna do is first of all, I'm gonna figure out, you know, is this worth keeping? So let me just go ahead and download a spreadsheet of all these different posts so I can sort of get an idea on what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep. So the way I do that is I'm gonna go up to here, this little button that says export data. I'm gonna click on it and download CSV. Once that's done, I'm gonna open it. There it is, and it's gonna give me all the different URLs we were just talking about. So here we go, boom, all the different average positions, all the stuff we need. So next I'm gonna put a little column of, you know, keep, question mark, and I'm just gonna put that a little bit over here so I can kind of, well, actually no, I'll just keep it right there. Um, so let's go for, let's say something that's getting really no clicks. We'll just start at the bottom. Let's just keep going. Okay. So a lot of this stuff we can ignore. Um, like say for instance, these, you know, paginated pages or uh, category pages that are probably not there anymore uh, after the site redesign. But let's check out something like, let's say maybe Let's check out something over here. Services, local SEO. Now let me go look at that. So I'm gonna grab that URL, bring it over here. There it is. Now we can see that this has zero clicks. Now let's see how it's optimized. If I look at it, local search engine optimization services, Chase Trainer SEO. Now, the thing is, is that, you know, if this is a landing page and you don't have a lot of authority on the site, kind of makes sense that you're not gonna be getting uh, a ton of rankings with it. So obviously, you know, it is also important to figure out, okay, if this is a landing page, you know, is it something that I'm gonna wanna keep on the site? If it is, then what's the point of no indexing if it actually does prove it that it's valuable? Cause you could get some clicks from when people actually search for your brand like Chase Riker, Chase Reiner Local SEO. So uh, what we're looking at more for is stuff like uh, the blog posts, things that we've, put on the site to like bring people in, but it's really not serving any valuable value to anyone. So let me just keep going through here. Let's see things like login or author. Those things should automatically be uh, no indexed after we no index them within our Yoast uh, app, Yoast plugin. Let me go back again, I don't know why. So I guess that's redirected. But, um, the whole point of this, like I said, is to pretty much just go through here and figure out if there's a reoccurring theme. Uh, for instance, you know, maybe a blog article. Let's try something like this. Okay, looking in here. 
one click. Now, this was actually recently changed, so this would make sense that there's only one click on it. But let's check out things that maybe prior to the redesign, uh, that might be a better data pool, actually. So I'm going to do, um, instead of the last 30 days after we've been doing changes, let's just do the ones previous to the site redesign. So I'm going to go back to March and just do that month for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take out this versus because I just want to see that month. Whoops, it's not supposed to be a comparison. There it is. Okay, so if we go in here, this is a little bit better of a data pool. Sorry about that. I probably shouldn't have pulled the last one. So let me just go ahead and do that again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, download this data. Now with the older version, I don't know if this is still going to be available by the time you see this tutorial, but same sort of thing. You just press download here at the bottom left. Now if we open this up, okay. Um, so this is what I'm talking about, stuff like this, SEO packages, on-page SEO, uh, or maybe a blog post like this. So let's go check out this blog post. Now, this actually needs to be changed because there's supposed to be a redirect there, which I was in the process of doing right now. Um, but you can see here, you know, overall, this post hasn't really got a lot of clicks on it. You know, it's not really serving value to anybody. Uh, nobody's really clicking on it. And, you know, really what it's doing is it's sort of just sitting here. So one of the things we want to think about is can we reuse this content for something else? Is there a way that we could relaunch this content to make it more valuable? Uh, is there a way that we could perhaps add more experts to this and make it more interesting? But overall, people aren't really liking it at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, instead of actually getting rid of it, I'm probably just going to save it as a draft so it's no longer there. And maybe I'll relaunch it at, a, at a, for another point. But for the moment, I know that nobody's really liking it. So I'm going to change it from published to draft. Now, what I'll probably also do is add a 301 redirect so that when people go there, uh, they just get forwarded back to the blog. So any authority that that generated is just going to go back to the blog. So let me go back uh, to that post that we had. I'm just going to use the old URL because the new URL probably isn't even indexed yet. Do create redirect. And I'm just going to change it back to, I'll just change it back to here, the, just the category of the blog. Cool. The other thing I can do too is to alert Google that, you know, I did that. I can go into search console, fetch the page that I just did, crawl, fetch, and alert Google that, you know, this is no longer being indexed. But there's going to be a redirect there anyway, so I'm not really sure you can't even do that in the first place. Let me see if you can even do that. I don't think you can actually request indexing. So I guess you can request indexing of a redirect, which is kind of cool. I can never get this sign game right. There it is. Boom. Um, whoops. Did I meant? No. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to do the actual post. Let me go to the post. And I did that wrong anyways. I was supposed to just do the URL. Uh, let's go back. Copy that. Of course. So there it is. So obviously I have a lot more work to do. I'm going to have to do this probably for, oops, I just did that wrong again. I'm sorry. It's supposed to just be that. SEO slash there it is. Uh, 
I have to go through all these different posts, figure out which ones I want to keep. It's really kind of a pain, and it is something that you should do, in my opinion, uh, as often as you can. Uh, the reason why is, you know, as you build more content on your site, there's going to be a ton of content that doesn't rank very well and doesn't really serve a purpose, and it's kind of just sitting there. So, you know, if nobody's clicking on it, nobody likes it, you know, it's better to focus on the content that's ranking well, minimize the content that's not really doing anything, and then relaunch the content that's sort of ranking well and make it really great so that it does rank um, so that you can provide the maximum value possible with your website. Now, like I said, if last thing I'm going to say, if you are uh, a website that's brand new and it's you're like trying to no index your contact pages or stuff like that, don't do that. I'm talking more for like pages that don't really serve a purpose. These it's usually a lot of blog posts, um, you know, maybe certain things like author pages, things that aren't really going to help Google out um, or people out unless they're searching for it, right? Um, or you plan on ranking it at a further time by making the maximum value possible for that page. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. And until I see you all next time, happy SEOing.